Why do you believe it's critical to have diverse representation in clinical trials? And how do you plan to reach all communities once a COVID vaccine becomes available? Well, to answer that question first, I think the HIV experience and, and what we have been doing in the context of our HIV vaccine program is quite relevant for COVID. So um, there are certain communities and groups of people, um, African Americans are, are one, Latinos as well, um, who've been excluded from research over, you know, in the past. And there are a lot of efforts to improve that. And in the context of HIV, I mean, people who are most at risk should be able to access and, and participate in these clinical trials. So there's a huge amount of community engagement and established relationships that I think we can actually leverage to raise awareness on COVID in general, which is, I think is really important. And also, what are we doing in clinical trials? So if people are actually interested in participating, they have the opportunity to do so. But there's also scientific relevance um, to having a study that's, that's very diverse, and, and particularly with respect to COVID, because Black and brown people are disproportionately affected by COVID at higher risk. And so um, we can look at the impact on outcomes in, in some of those high risk groups, but it's also about generalizability. So how representative are the, are the data coming out of that study? Um, and does it apply to the entire population? Because for vaccines, it's usually you try to cover as many people as possible. So without that information, you might not fully understand the, the differences that you might see with the vaccine in certain populations. We know, for example, that the elderly may have lower immune responses than younger adults or even children. And then um, there are gender differences. Women seem to respond better to vaccines than, than men do. And there could be some differences in, in other communities in terms of the impact there. So if you don't understand that, you're not necessarily going to be able to design the most optimal uh, vaccine for the population. So it's really critical that, that you, you look at that from the outset.